morning fellow option traders this is Jeff and this is the daily scan for April 2nd 2013 as I promised yesterday we're just going to dig through the A plus list and cover open positions as we go through that uh, but first a few words of how we think uh, everything's going to go today looks like uh, market is set to open up slightly I call 50 slightly it's been kind of an average lately um, gold is still struggling at, with the 1600 level and oil is at 97 so just a couple of things that uh, I like to watch also want to cover quickly uh, what is going to be happening today I need to hide this thing alright uh, economic calendar for today uh, factory orders but I wanted to and, and I don't know if that's going to have an impact or not but apparently they say the pundits say that this particular announcement yesterday did have an impact and we'll take a look at just at the numbers prior was 54.2 the consensus was 54 and it came in at 51.3 below even the consensus range which probably I don't know rattled some people I guess maybe the big guys I don't know uh, but for today we just have we have motor vehicle sales and factory orders that uh, could be biggies then there's the auctions here if you want to watch the fed buy their own stuff alright uh, that is it for the markets let's take a look or announcements I should say alright I'm just getting this set up so I can tab back and forth I do this uh, alt tab between my different screens. All right, we'll hide this. We'll go to directly to the A plus list, and we'll start covering things from that perspective. All right, we'll throw the analyze tab up here and hit up on Apple. All right, so um, I did enter this yesterday. Originally, I believe I was looking at a 465, 470 bear call. I ended up doing a 460, 465, um, and <clears throat> I had a limit order in at for 90, and um, I couldn't get it to execute, so I had to kind of chase this a little bit yesterday. I don't like to chase, and I don't advise it, but I did chase this. I just uh, want to get in on this unprecedented fall of Apple sort of reminiscent of the late 80s and 90s isn't it <laughs> um, although I don't think it fell I don't think it was at the height that it is now back then uh, so it's already up $88 um, let's see what it looks like for today maybe opening up well, no, it looks pretty flat, even with the 3,000 shares already traded at this time of the morning. So I can uncheck this. It's still up 88 bucks. So that's where we are on that one. Amazon. So we just have an iron condor on Amazon right now. It's up uh, $60, approximately... Or, um, 50 percent of the uh, intended goal on this what are we looking at this morning uh, gap up probably let's take a look at Baidu we should be looking at charts too I may just get out of uh, if Baidu moves up a little bit today I may just get out of it the other thing that I wanted to note um, is when volatility increases our uh, profit for profit as of now line sinks so I wanted to point that out 
as you can see here as I increase the uh, implied volatility that the white line starts to sink so it's sort of a double whammy when the market moves down and you have a trade on like this like an iron condor not only are you going down the uh, backside slope here but the slope is the whole mountain is sinking I guess you could say however conversely when volatility decreases then the white line moves up so if we get an up move today and a drop in volatility it's entirely possible that it would be really attractive to exit Baidu today so I'm making a note over here to possibly get out of Baidu and what I could do is go over to the chart and let's say that I'll put an alert in here additionally and say if you're above this I want an alert to go off and I'll probably exit so I also have an alert on the downside I don't think it's going to be moving there today anyway so my thinking is that today um, we're going to the we're going to be uh, popping up a little bit and it would be I'll just close this thing at that time uh, kind of take my money and run especially if it moves up here we're at this is 80 almost 80 percent if I get to 80 percent I'm getting out all right I needed to look at the charts on these two so we're just going to do sort of a detailed analysis okay this was a yellow line uh, is this where I was uh, where are we at we're at 460 here so I need to change the yellow line to white and to 460 and this is an AP April all right so we're in um, worked out kind of nice maybe a little late on this and I did chase it slightly but regardless we're in um, also wanted to let you know I did four of them which uh, gives me actually um, sixteen hundred dollar risk for a three hundred thirty six dollar gain roughly four to one almost if, if, if I would have collected a dollar on this thing it would be a four to one risk reward but I didn't collect a dollar so it's a little less maybe closer to five to one risk reward on this particular play Amazon will take a look at that chart right quick and maybe get an idea of which way things might be moving today it's in an uptrend um, you know if it goes if it moves down today this would be a good time to jump in with a um, bear call in addition to what we already have open on it so I'm going to set an alert here and uh, might get into a bear call on this if we get a down move today it's set up nicely uh, we have a nice hook down here and zoom in just a little bit more on these still want to look at this I don't think I really care right now about that expiration so I'm going to care about the April expiration there now um, things look a little bit better here and we'll zero in on this just so we uh, can see if we got a continuation on this today this would be a confirmation that we're looking for for it to drop below the 260 and we're also in a uh, long-term downtrend so that's good too momentum is down anyway uh, CF all right we had an iron condor on this and let me look back at my notes here uh, I closed it yesterday I closed the put side cost me dollar nineteen I'm gonna let the, the uh, call side ride in hopes that it's going to expire 
uh, totally worthless and therefore I would have been almost like a wash because it cost me a dollar thirteen to open this and it cost me I mean I collected a dollar thirteen when I opened it and it cost me a dollar nineteen to close it so I'm calling that a wash for that iron condor let's take a look at the charts um, no entries here at all we could have uh, we would have had a nice one here that's for sure for a bear call but no entries right now all right Chipotle this is the uh, trade that I did the 10% uh, 5% on so let's see how that is doing it just needs to end up in the in this gray area by April and we will be able to collect our three hundred dollars on this particular trade um, again you know we're looking possibly for a move up on this uh, two ninety five three thirty uh, looks like it might get down a hair this morning actually we're just wanted to stay in there and this the white line here oops, sorry the uh, the white line or current profit and loss uh, should start to move up as this begins to age because it's only April expiration and that's not very far away we're looking at 17 days all right um, is there anything else going on there uh, yes there could be this would be a a low Delta entry point here we don't no we don't we're in an uptrend I would not uh, I would not do that we have uh, momentum up although we have a down tick here we got momentum coming up here um, no there's no entry here we have a nice hook here but it's against the trend so we're gonna leave that one alone Salesforce we actually do not we are not in Salesforce at the present time and right, let's see how we're looking here we had a stock split four to one coming up I just uh, don't want to get involved in that one so we'll take a pass no matter what it's telling me and we were looking at Google yesterday um, it didn't come down and give us what we were looking for but we are in an uptrend oh this is a little disturbing here uh, we have momentum coming out momentum coming out we're in an uptrend we're down here and we're testing the 50 I'm going to cancel this um, alert here and make a note on this because although this is disturbing many times it will come down like it did here hit the 50 and then just take right off of course we have earnings coming up too here they like to uh, do their earnings on Thursday before expiration <laughs> so I mean do you want to take a chance on this uh, for earnings we might discuss some earnings plays on Google as we get closer to earnings but before that let's take a look at volatility uh, it's really low but look at this look at how it jumps up here as we get close to uh, earnings announcement so let's take a look at we're at 53 percent of the high and low right now so if you look at uh, 36 and 162 and they do I think they do a composite of all these or an average or a mean or something of all these um, 
IV, and it might be on every strike to come up with uh, this number. So, would not be a good idea to do a calendar on this just because IV is so high, and when IV drops, you lose your shorts on a calendar. So that wouldn't be the thing. I think he would have to take a directional bet and let it let it sit at that. So we will discuss that as time as the time approaches for um, that expiration. This is Mastercard's Iron Condor. Uh, we are currently at 36 out of 105, so that's about a 40 percent or so, 35 percent profit goal, 35% of the profit goal on this. Take a look at a chart. Uh, we are in an uptrend, but we're also on the high side on a stochastic. Anything long term? Nope. No entries on this. Uh, this was a very nice move. Kind of happened while I was sleeping. Um, and we're, uh, we might be kind of at risk on this for this iron condor. So I have to keep an eye on, on this. And uh, I'm just going to put an alert out here. Just to make sure that, I'm, that I am keeping an eye on this. What are we looking at for today? Possible 5.30, 5.52. Can't really determine. Bid ask is way too wide to be able to tell anything there. Yes. Okay, now um, Netflix. This is our... We have an Iron Condor and a Bear Call on this. So first let's take a look at the Bear Call. Uh, am I doing the right ones here? No, I'm not. Uh, there. All right. Okay, we're up uh, 147 out of a $462 target. Let's take a look at the chart. Uh, nice move yesterday in our favor. Uh, is it going to continue? I sure hope so. And uh, we'll take a look at the Iron Condor. Iron Condor is at 86 out of 117. That's darn near 100%. I mean, not 80%. So, hopefully we can get out of that one in the next couple of days. Alright, let's turn them all on. Priceline. Priceline, we have a um, old put on Priceline. Take a look at that. I'm going to stay above this line here. Uh, secondary entry opportunity here. If uh, anybody's interested, I'm not. I don't want to throw any more money after Priceline because it can burn. Uh, of course, you can make a lot of money too. So I'm going to pass on the secondary entry there. How are we looking for today? Maybe can't determine. 690 to 759. We're currently at 695. Uh, it may gap up this morning. It may gap up. Okay, and last but not least, Panera Bread. Um, we have an iron condor on there. It's an interesting candle. Big struggle here between the uh, buyers and sellers, and uh, looks like everybody won or nobody won. However, you want to look at it for the day traders, anyway. Um, take a look at the risk profile. We're at 64 out of a possible 109, about 65 percent profit on that one, uh, and I think that that. Pretty much is it. We can take a look at some of our uh, calendars. This is the calendar on the queues. We have a 
a whole bunch of uh, open positions on this. I think uh, we made, we actually, uh, both accounts together rose about 500 bucks yesterday, but we might give a lot of that back today. It's hard to tell. Uh, Russell on our iron condor is up 126. And uh, Spiders is down 235. So our insurance policies um, may or may not pay off. Um, and again, April may be too soon. Uh, there's a lot of talk about the end of April uh, correction, at least from the Elliott Wave people. So we'll see how that happens. Uh, we have a May, June here, so this one may pay off very well. Uh, all right, so, yeah, uh, we're doing okay. Uh, we're up on these, uh, let's look by account here just quickly, by account. Uh, the spread account is up uh, 325 so far for those positions that are open. And uh, the um, profit temp portfolio is up 291 for those positions that are open. All right, so that's it for today. Um, thanks a lot for watching, and if you want to see some uh, neat comments, go back to the April 29th video. There's been a lot of activity in the comments section there um, about uh, a strategy called a victory spread and, and a few other sprinkling of other comments. So um, if you want to see a neat dialogue, go ahead, jump over there, take a look, and see what you think about it. All right, have a great day and happy trading.